Okay, hello people of the internet. So as you might know, I'm Carrie, and my brother Michael and I created this show on YouTube called Battle for Dream Island, and we posted the first episode on January 1st, 2010, and it got a bit of viewership. But what inspired us to make this in the first place? Well, back in the summer of 2008, both of us were obsessed with watching this TV show called Total Drama Island, which itself is based off of Survivor. It's like a competition where one person wins a million dollars or something. Well, I really, really, really wanted to create my own version of Total Drama, but I wasn't very good at drawing humans at the time, but I did know Macromedia Flash, so I did know how to animate. So we made our contestants objects, like a match, a pencil, yeah, know. you know, a snowball, oh, a teardrop, down. and a tennis ball, and so on. And you can see all of them in the intro. And most of you probably already know this. But you might have noticed, there's quite a bit of time between my obsession with TDI in 2008 and 2010. And the big secret is that BFDI was not my first attempt at creating my own version of TDI. So... I went through my old hard drives, I found this file called TKI Character Creation, and you can see it was last modified on November 15th, 2008. Okay, so this is like just three, four months after discovering TDI, and it was so early that George W. Bush was still president. That's just crazy. Um, so this predates BFDI by over a year, and I'm going to play it, but it is so cringe, like... Oh, it's just so bad. But TKI stands for Total Kid Island, because, you know, I was 11 at the time. I thought the 16-year-olds in Total Drama Island were just, you know, too old for me, too adult. So I wanted to bring it down to my level. So I guess I'll just watch it. It's Total Kid Island. Oh, it's just like, I've already looked at it, and I don't know if I want the internet to, to see this. Because, okay, I'm just going to I'm just gonna do it. I'm just going to go. Okay, here we go. We're going to drag it in. Ah! Oh, no! <laughs> okay, okay. So, um, I have some explaining to do. Okay, so there's six characters here, and my plan was to have 12 with six boys and six girls, but I only finished half of them. And you can see I was definitely inspired by the Total Drama, like, aesthetic with the, like, very flat colors and, like, harsh outlines. I mean, it's not the worst, given, like, I just started middle school. Okay, then you have to stop spinning. I can't, like, see anything. So, okay, I'm going to open this in Animate, and actually... It's, it's crazy that everything still loads. Like, this is a 15-year-old year, year old Flash file, and it still loads, and I can just move stuff around. But yeah, it, it's just cool that Flash and or its descendants are still, like, backwards compatible. Anyway, I have Vanessa. That was, like, my first character design, and Olivia, which I guess look kind of similar. So, well, they don't look that similar. They have different, like, face shapes. That's actually kind of... Actually, I'm kind of proud of myself for giving them different face shapes and not just changing the hair color. I feel like a lot of... Things I did in the past, I would just change the hair color to make different characters. And then, so I don't know why, I started with Vanessa and Olivia. Um, I just kind of picked random girls' names that I knew from my, like, sixth grade class at the time. I don't think I knew anyone named Gerald, so I don't know why I picked that name. I think there was a show I watched as a kid called Gerald McBoing Boing, so comment if you know that show. I guess he has, like, short, blonde, like, dirty blonde hair. And then, okay, Catherine got, like, straight black hair like which is pretty cool and then there's scott which is like a little like lumpier than actually gerald and scott look really similar too but anyway um then i have them kind of i have, a, have them on two teams so the murderer trout and yelling beavers those names are directly derived from tdi names which were the killer bass and the screaming gophers so real original carry but you might have noticed that these names i reused for total fiery island which came around the same time i don't know which one came first um, and then I have them just like spinning. So like, I think the reason I have them spinning around was because I knew that whichever character was placed in the upper left would get first place privilege. Like they would be read first by the, the viewers and I didn't want to have that reading order. So this way, nobody gets to stay in the upper left first position for that long. You know, there's equal spreading around everyone. So I want to just mention a few things. So with the mouth, she okay so i don't have any audio for this there's like literally no audio so i i think um what what's happening i remember this i have olivia whispering the f word <laughs> like <laughs> do you see it okay so we're going forward in time okay i'm not gonna say it because i know i'm not supposed to swear but she's whispering the f word and that's what okay actually no vanessa gets vanessa's mad right here so i don't know why she gets mad but what's she saying i think she just says hello so she's hello um hello and then fa <laughs> and then what does Vanessa say here 
Maybe she's funny. Funny. No, no, she doesn't. I don't know what she's saying. You can guess in the comments. I don't know what's going on here. Like, this doesn't make any sense to me. So I remember, I thought to myself, okay, with 12 characters, it's much smaller than TDI. I'll be able to, like, manage it. And I thought to myself, I'm a boy. The characters I voice sound like boys. You know, when you're 11, most of your friends are still your same gender. Like, you're still in that phase where you kind of think that, like, you know, girls have cooties or whatever. I don't know if that's a thing, but I didn't have any... <laughs> female friends when I was 11. I did by high school, but I think I was really worried I wouldn't be able to find enough voices for all the characters. So I decided that Catherine was going to be voiceless. She wasn't going to be able to speak, so she sort of became Teardrop. So I just thought this right now. If you ever thought about a humanization of Teardrop, like maybe she looks like that. <laughs> I, I never even thought about this. Also in this little like animation, there's a new character. There's a Laura who has red hair. Um, so that's fun. And I'm not going to save this file because I want to like keep it preserved. I'm kind of curious. So every eye is its own movie clip. And if you go in... Well, I didn't know how to do graphics with like different frames yet. The pupils are just their own thing. So when their eyes change, so like here we have... This is called VCI Angry. So VC stands for Vanessa, I don't know, Christensen. I don't know what Vanessa's last name is, but I guess her last name was C. And then this is probably VCI. This is just VCI for, you know, her normal state. This is nose. V-O nose. Okay, maybe she has a different name. Mouth closed. Okay, so everyone shares the same mouth. Everyone shares the same nose. It's still V-O nose. This is OG's eye. So Olivia, I don't know her name, but it's O-G-S. I guess Olivia Gianna Smith. I don't know. If there's someone watching this video with that exact name, they're probably freaking out, but I don't think that's true. Wait, her eyebrows go away when, when she closes her eyes. That's like really weird. Closed eye. That's like she shaved her eyebrows as soon as she wanted to blink. So the F mouth is mouth F-V-E-T-C. Oh, it's, it's for like mouth forms of F and V and E-T-C as in like and so on. Then ear... It's just O ear for Olivia's ear. And Vanessa, you can't see her ears because the hair is covering it up. So everyone has a different skin tone, right? Like Olivia has a warmer skin tone. I'm actually impressed like how much... Okay, I know that this isn't like Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa. Like this isn't that good. Like what is going on with Olivia's bangs? Like girl, you need a better haircut. Um, but I'm just happy that like I didn't go really basic with the skin tones. Although no one has a dark skin tone. So that's like kind of not good for me. You know, I probably would have added more if I had finished the set of six. But like clearly not enough representation there. Um, but yeah, Vanessa has a cooler skin tone. And Catherine has a more olive skin tone. And this is G ear. So actually I was still pretty consistent with the symbol names. I will say when I started animating like BFDI a couple years later or one year later... All that organized symbol naming went out the window, okay? Like, at that point, I just started key mashing to name the symbols because I didn't have time, I was lazy. The masking, look at the masking here. This is incredible. Um, do you see how her hair, clump of hair in the back is inside the hole? That is a mask. Yeah, see, like, this is what it normally would look like. Because of this mask, it stays within the confines of that circle. By the way, this is a cool flash technique that I guess I knew about in 2008. If you want to have objects rotating around a center but not rotating themselves, what you do is you go... Okay, so this is your... Your base object is this. One level up, you just animate it rotating in direction in place. Like, so this is rotating clockwise, right? In 60 frames, it does one revolution exactly. And then in the one layer up even further, you put the pivot point in the center of, like, revolution, and then you rotate in the opposite direction. So now they're rotating counterclockwise. And because of that, the two forces will cancel out so that, like, Vanessa doesn't, like, turn upside down. So now they're just sort of orbiting. And I think it's a pretty good technique. I wish there was a faster way to do it, but, you know, it gets the job done. I guess I got, mo like, four of six murderer trout drawn and only two out of six yelling beavers. And, like, if Catherine doesn't speak, then Scott is the only speaking character on yelling beavers. By the way, there's a character on Total Drama Island named Scott. You know, with the red hair who ends up in that machine, which is horrifying. When did Scott first appear? Let's do some research. Okay, well, he shows up in Total Drama Revenge of the Island, which first aired January 5th, 2012. And what's the edit date on this file? November 15th, 2008. This is the real Scott. This is the OG. Okay, I'm, okay. I shouldn't be getting that excited. This one looks like, he looks like a blob. He looks like literally jello on a plate. So I don't know. You would totally pick. This Scott is just much better designed than this one, but this guy's older technically. And also the, the fonts are removed. I don't have these fonts anymore. So it should be... This should be cuckoo. So maybe I'll re-download that font to get the true thing. But you can see, like, the fonts are supposed to show, like, their personality. Catherine has a serif font because she was very bookish. You know, she reads and 
writes instead of speaking. So she's got a very like clean, structured serif font. I guess Gerald is very handwritey, flamboyant and like uh, ornamented, you know? And Olivia, who knows about Olivia? She just swears all the time, I guess. She's bold, you know? That's a very bold font. It's very rigid, strong, bold line, so swearing. And then Vanessa is like italicized, which I guess just means that she like, she leans her head forward all the time. She's like, oh, she's like, hello, ooh, hello. What's she saying here? Maybe like, dumb, no, I don't, what is this mouth? This, this is, look, look at those bent teeth. What is that? Like, how do you bend your teeth like that? Like, uh, like try touching your, the sides of your teeth, but not the middle. It's literally impossible. Vanessa, you might have like really flexible enamel. I don't know what you're doing, but it's freaking me out. But like, wait, look at this. When she, so Vanessa's all about leaning forward. That's her personality. She goes like this. Um, when she does that, her hair like swings with inertia. Look at that. Look, this is like 2008, top of the line, you know, frontier bleeding edge of animation. Not really. And I guess Gerald also blinks a lot. Like, got some dust in your eye? Oh no, Gerald has, her, has his own nose. It's the GSV nose. And Oh no, Scott has the same nose. Actually, I think GSV stands for Gerald, Scott, and Vanessa. Because, wait, no, but Catherine has her own nose too. Like, wait, look, Gerald has like curved top, curved bottom. Catherine has curved top, flat bottom. So that's different. And then Vanessa has flat top, flat, flat bottom. So that is interesting. All the outlines are like pitch black, which I think was a good move. I know that like, that's not how people typically do it now. But if you compare it with, you know, TDI characters, the outlines are pitch black as well. And also, if you don't have much like experience creating outline colors, which I don't, I think you can get very wrong if you just try to darken and make a darker shade of the color. Let's say it's being lit by a campfire then the outline should be a redder dark tint. And if it's in a hospital room, it should be a bluer dark tint. But here, if it's black, you can't really go wrong. It's like the simple, clean approach, which I think it was a good call. This is Total Kid Island. I don't remember who the host was gonna be. I remember there was gonna be no merge. Like there'll be these two teams eliminated until the very end, until there's just like one member from each team left and then they would like do a 1v1 against each other. But since no one else has known about this show, I get to be the one who defines who gets eliminated. That'll have to wait for next time. See you in part two.